Hi, I'm Ruben Saltzman with Structure Tech Home Inspections, and today's topic is the new Seek Thermal Shot Pro infrared camera. So, I first heard about this camera at ASHI's Inspection World Conference in January this year, January of 2019. And I had a chance to play around with it at the conference, and I thought it looked like a pretty cool camera. I, d I didn't order one right away, but I finally got around to it, because we've been having some issues with our standby cameras. Well, I shouldn't say standby. My favorite camera. It's, it's the FLIR E6. We love these cameras, but I've been starting to get really frustrated with memory issues on these cameras, because it seems to not want to record images, and uh, it tells me the USB cable's not plugged in when it is, and all kinds of little buggy issues. So I've been frustrated enough where I'm starting to look for another favorite infrared camera. And I thought that the, uh, the new Shot Pro might be that camera. I'll go through it with you here. It's got two buttons on it right at the top here. That's it. Those are the only hard buttons on the outside. It's got a power button and a take picture button. This is genius. I love that. It's very simple. You walk around with it in your hand, you press the button, and if you hold down the power button just for a quick sec, you give it one push while it's already on, it turns on a little LED light on the front, which was nice of them to add. However, it's comparable to a mobile phone light, making it useless for home inspections. If I'm in an area with a little bit of light, I don't need the light. If I'm in an area with no light, I want a really bright light, and this is not that. So the, the light might be useful for some people, but for home inspections, it does me no good. It has a touch screen, and it has a really big screen. I mean, when you compare the size of this screen to that of the E6, it's about the same, maybe even a little bit larger. It has a wider field of view than the E6. It has a 50, 56 degree, field of view, well, or maybe it's 57, 50 something, and the E6 has a 45 degree field of view. And while that is going to drop your resolution down a little bit while you're scanning big wide areas, I'll take that drop in resolution to be able to scan big large areas. I've used a lot of infrared cameras where it's got a narrow field of view and it's obnoxious because to really see the big picture, you've got to step so far back away in the room. You're backed against the far wall to see everything that you want to see all at once. And it's important to be able to do that if, if you're a home inspector, to be able to see what's going on. So I like the wider field of view. It has a resolution of 320 by 240, which on paper is four times the resolution of the E6 which is, uh, it's 160 by 120. So you, you do the multiplication, it ends up being four times the resolution. It, sh it should have four times the image quality, but it's not. I did a lot of comparison images going all over my house using this, using the Shot Pro and FLIR's E6. And I'll go over them with you in a second. You can decide for yourself which one you prefer. But I, I, I didn't think that the increased resolution made really any, any improvement in the image quality. And then finally, for the thermal image sensor, it's comparable to the E6's. It's not, it's, it's not quite as sensitive, but it's very, very close. I think that for, the, for this one, it, for the Shot Pro, it's at 0 .07, I don't remember what and for the E6 it's 0 .06 and the lower the number the better. So it's comparable. And then what really attracted me to this camera was the image blending. With, with FLIR's E6 camera they've got this technology called MSX technology where it has an infrared, uh, an infrared lens and a regular lens and it blends visible light with infrared and it takes all of the high contrast stuff and it puts white lines on everything so that when you're looking at an infrared image it looks beautiful you know exactly what you're looking at even if everything in the image is the same temperature 
you can see what you're looking at. It gives it really good perspective. And it, it almost fools you into thinking that you have a much higher resolution camera than you already do. It, it doesn't add any real value to the images as far as knowing what's hot and what's cold, but perception is reality. What Seek Thermal did with the Shot Pro camera is they added image blending. Now, and they call it, I think, uh, Seek Fusion. This is not a new technology. They trademark that term. It's not new. Other camera manufacturers have been doing this for a long time where you blend the visible image with the infrared image and you adjust how the blend goes so that you, you can kind of see what's going on in real life and you add the infrared image on top of that. I was excited, but after using it all over my house, I'm not so thrilled with this anymore because it, it just seems to kind of degrade the image quality. So I wasn't crazy about it. Not only that, but the slider that adjusts how much of each image you get, the slider on the screen is nearly impossible to use. I've got a clip here where I'm trying to adjust the image, to, I'm, I'm touching it here, and, and the whole reason I made this video was as a demonstration on my blog to show how cool it is that you can adjust the slider, but as you can see here, I'm doing it over and over again, and it's not picking up my finger. I had to do this for a full 35 seconds before it finally recognized my finger. So. Don't get me wrong, I made this clip to show you how cool it is and it has accidentally turned into a clip showing you how frustrating it is trying to use that feature on this camera. So that's an overview of the camera, but let's take a minute now to look over some of the images and we're going to compare these images side by side with FLIR's E6, again my go-to camera. For this first image we got my front door. We've got the Shot Pro on the left, the FLIR on the right. You can see the FLIR seems to be a lot brighter. For this next image, it's my office. Uh, you can, on the, on the right with the FLIR camera, you can see the studs in the wall pretty clearly. I mean, they don't jump out at you, but you know where they are. If we're using the Shot Pro, you can't see the studs at all. I mean, they are gone. Just for fun, I turned off the MSX imaging on the FLIR and I moved the slider on the Shot Pro all the way over to infrared only just to see what would happen. And when we do that, it, it makes the studs a lot more obvious on both. Uh, well, I shouldn't say that. You can, it's more obvious on the FLIR. On the Shot Pro, you might be able to see the studs, barely, but I don't know. I, I found it still pretty difficult to, to pick this out. And what, what I'm getting at here is I think the, the FLIR is a lot more useful. Here's a ceiling fan. Here is some raw meat thawing out on the counter. Here's hot water going into my sink. Here's the bottom of my refrigerator. And you know, here's one of the first ones where you can see, I mean, it. The Shot Pro seems like a really dark image. It's, it's tough to figure that out. My feet. My gas fireplace. No, I don't shut the pilot off during the summer. Here's my bathroom floor right after I took a shower. You can see the bath mat is still wet. That, that is a heated floor. This is an experiment I'm doing on mold. I've got two boxes here and I will surely share what this is all about in a future blog post and a future video. But for today, just know that the box on the right is wet at the bottom. This is the top of my water heater. And man, the, the C6 just shines here. That is a beautiful image. And the Shot Pro, not so much. This is probably the most dramatic difference. This is the ceiling in my basement. You can see all the pipes and wires just show up plain as day with the, with the C6. With the Shot Pro, there's very little detail that we're seeing here. And here is a light switch. It's a dimmer switch in my basement. It's, it's kind of warm. Now, the one from Seek. Now, I've got the lights off in my basement, so the, the blending doesn't work that well, but, uh, you know, we're doing side-by-side -side comparisons. With, with the Seek on the left, you have no idea what you're looking at. 
And finally, my dog. He looks kind of sad there, doesn't he? He's usually a happy guy. All right, so those are all the image comparisons. My conclusion here is that this camera is decent. It's, it's priced at $699, whereas FLIR's E6 camera goes for about $2,000. So it costs a lot less money. I think you basically get what you pay for. I'm not ready to switch over my line to this camera because, well, frankly, the image quality isn't isn't the greatest. I really prefer looking at the images on the E6, so I'm not going to be changing over just yet, but I think the Seek Thermal delivers decent value with the Shot Pro. That's it. Thanks for watching.